Hey, everybody, what's up? Yeah, so <laughs> I just watched that uh, fight between Gervonta Davis and Rolly Romero. That was some fight. <laughs> Rather weird fight. I didn't really expect it to be so tactical, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, of course, it was very even until that very last <laughs> moment when Gervonta finally landed that, that decisive punch which knocked Romero. I'll put him out anyway of the game. I thought maybe the referee could have let Romero continue, but I doubt he could have turned this around, you know, but you never know it's boxing but i i think anyway it's all right that uh, he stopped it i guess yeah because um romero he came to the fight very confident of course as you know most of you know and <laughs> a little overconfident and early on he did score some good punches you know uh, he scored a knockdown that was disallowed, I think, in round three, two or three, I'm sure now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he scored some good punches, but uh, it wasn't enough to really, you know, hurt, to really give him the edge. He had the physical edge, of course, the bigger man or everything ranger but Gervonta was obviously waiting for his chance to land that big big punch and he was patient as you are supposed to be a great fighter must be patient and not rush it and try to you know to score a knockout too early <laughs> you know it reminds me of Costa too and he would like he would patiently wait for an opening and then you know punch so yeah all in all it was an impressive knockout but uh, overall i think uh, davis struggled a little bit too much with romero but uh, i'm not really i don't really know that much about romero he's obviously a very good very solid fighter anyway so i guess that's no no shame to be, you know, to have a difficult fight first against him. Even though it didn't last very long, of course, but uh, it ended just as I predicted. And I said in about maybe six rounds or seven tops it would end with Tank Davis knocking him out. So that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, I thought until the the fifth maybe round it was it looked like the fight was up for grabs you know it looked, looked like looked like anything was possible you know like even Romero looked pretty strong you know, in the first four rounds so and even in the fifth but uh, up and as I said up until the, the knockout he was you know doing well so all right now uh let's see there was also Reslani lara i didn't get to see that one yet but he stopped gary o'sullivan in the eighth round early in the eighth tko so i also said he might win yeah but <laughs> by a stoppage but uh, i expected it to not be so late yeah, a little later maybe, but you know, Sp Spike Sullivan is a tough guy, you know? so <laughs> yeah, I would love to see Lara fight maybe now somebody next fight somebody like uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe even Triple G or Jermall Sean would be pretty good choices, and he's now at you know, at his at his last leg so at the age of 39 
so he should grab one last big payday before he retires uh, yeah <laughs> that's right um, yeah other than that I don't think there is anything else to say that the other fights were not so big but <laughs> Uh, next weekend we will have a, a really big fight with George Cambosos Jr. fighting Devin Haney. Yeah, so I will be back then next week. And uh, until then, enjoy your weekend. Bye bye.